Are you trying to figure out how to get your iPhone photos onto your Mac? I'm going to show you two ways to get this done. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt. I own Pixology, where we've helped people organize millions of photos over the past 10 years. A few months ago, we surveyed our clients to see what they were doing with their pictures from their phone and what challenges they were having. In that survey, we found out that 95% of people who responded wanted to save their pictures on their computers, but many were having challenges doing it. Now, Mac users have a leg up on the PC Windows computer users because you have the Apple Photos app, all right? This is the first way that you can get pictures from your iPhone over to your Mac. Let's take a look at it. All right, we are here in my Photos app on my MacBook Pro. At the bottom, you can see I have 13,614 photos, 602 videos. And I'm going to just show you a screenshot from my phone, and it has the same amount there. This is because I have iCloud turned on, and I have both of my devices syncing back and forth to each other through iCloud. If you're not seeing this number match, you're going to want to go up to the Photos settings, and then make sure that iCloud Photos is turned on, and we want Download Originals to this Mac. That means your pictures will be living on your computer. For people who have low Mac space, you could click Optimize Mac storage, but then your pictures, the full resolution, are living up in iCloud, and it can be tricky to get them down if you have a lot of pictures. If you need to check this setting on your iPhone, just go to the settings for your photos, and then make sure that iCloud Photos is turned on. That's the first way to save photos to your Mac. I want you to stay to the end. I'm going to share a little bit of the extra steps we take to preserve the important family photos to enjoy and share and pass on to future generations. All right, let's talk about the second way to get pictures from your iPhone to your Mac. This option is for people who don't want to use iCloud, they don't want to use the Photos app, they just want to get their pictures in folder. So we're going to use the Image Capture app, and it comes right on your computer. You will need to connect your phone via its USB cable to your computer. If you don't know how to find Image Capture, just go to your launch pad and type in Image and the app will show right up for you. This has been on Mac computers forever and not a lot of people know about it. So I already have my iPhone connected. You can see how that could take a while to load all of your photos. Now I wanted to point out that I don't show the 13,000 number that I had before. And this is because my iPhone is optimized, you know, to save the storage space. So that can be a problem for you. This is why you want to stay with your pictures and, and keep, you know, cleaning them up and getting them to your computer on a routine basis. Now, you can also see there's like a lot of repetitive pictures and photos for information. For this part of the video, I'm just showing you how to do this, but I'd like you to listen to our monthly habit steps that I'll share in a moment so that we can make the most of your time working with your pictures and be efficient about it. Okay, so I'm going to click these three lines to just show the pictures, you know, information. I usually like to start with a specific group of pictures and monthly works great. So here's all of January and I've selected that top one. I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to click. And now all of my January photos are selected and you can see I have 170 there and I'm going to click this little area here, import to. We don't want these to all go on the desktop. We want to actually pick a folder, okay? So I'm going to click Other, and for our purposes, I'm going to my desktop, and I'm going to go down to my VIP folders, and I'm going to click Photos to Organize, and I have a folder for January already. 
So I can click that and choose. And now I'm telling the image capture where to import those photos. And then to start it, we have to click the download button, which is really not what's happening. <laughs> download is when you download something from the internet. We're copying them over from the phone. So I'll click download and then <laughs> you can see it's actually saying it's importing. I totally think Apple is mixing their verbs here. Download, import. <laughs> We're really just copying the pictures from our iPhone to a folder in our Finder. I'm stopping that import or copy or download because there's so many screenshots and re repetitive photos that I don't even need. The first thing that you want to do before getting pictures into a folder on your Mac is clean them up, right? So that leads me into talking about the monthly habit. Each month you should save your family photos, all right? And what you do is first delete all the unnecessary pictures that you're never going to use again, okay? So when I deleted the pictures from January, which was last month right now, I went from 162 photos down to 92, 70 unnecessary pictures. And because I deleted them off my phone, they're not showing up in the image capture anymore. And it looks like I have really a good amount of family photos to preserve. Now, once they're in the folder, we go an extra step here at Pixology because we want people to have an easy way to share the memories as well as preserve for future generations. And that's taking that folder for the month and uploading the keepers to forever. In the end, I have about 70 photos that tell the story of what our family did this month. And I'm hoping that this process, you know, kind of talking through the options of getting pictures from your iPhone to your Mac has been helpful. There are a lot of moving parts to saving pictures, not just the pictures on your phone, getting them to your computer, but the, the old family albums and envelopes of photos. If you need a roadmap, see the description below. We've got a link that you can sign up for and it might help you get on the track of saving your family memories. And if you wanna learn more about saving photos monthly, watch this video next. Thank you so much for joining and we'll see you the next time.